My name is Suzanne, and I am trying out this YouTube video movie here that I'm making, and it's all new to me, so I hope that um, I get better as I go on. Well, it's a nice bright day here in Michigan, uh, kind of a nice day to go for a walk in a little while. Okay, I wanted to show you a few things that I like to make. I crochet, and I absolutely love crocheting. I like making happy gifts for people. Um, it brings me great joy to do that. So, first of all, I wanted to show you a few things, so let's do that. Okay, first of all, I make these little scrubbies. Um, you can hang them on your faucet. These, this size I like to hang in the bathroom because they're really nice to pull off the faucet and then scrub, scrub, scrub. They work very nice. And then I got some other styles. This is my favorite to make. This is from Sarah Sack. Um, she does a lot of nice dishcloths and doggy bandanas, just you name it, she does it. And this one here is on her site. That's Sarah Sack. And I make them in all different colors. And I got this one. I just did it in a round circle, one strand of uh, cotton. And uh, that's a bigger one, maybe for in the bathtub. And then I just made a little granny square, and I also like this in the bathroom, if you can see that there. Um, I did solid in the center, and then I added the strand of scrubby yarn in there too. Okay, so another good thing I like to make is scrubbies. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> we just did scrubbies. Okay, hair ties. So this here is called a scrunchie. And they're very popular with um, children, teenagers, women of all ages. Um, here's a great big one I made. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I love all the colors and that makes me feel, you know, springy. Yeah, spring is coming. Hopefully. You know, Michigan, the weather changes every second, so who knows. Okay, and I also got this one. This is my nice one. This is made with scrap yarns I had. And I just did a double crochet in each one, some V stitches. And let's see what else. This great big one here. I love this one. Um, it looks really nice in the hair. You gather your hair up on top of your head and put it on, around like around the bun. Good stuff. And this one here is made out of the velvet yarn that you can buy. And um, they're a little bit more elegant from when you go out to dinner and holidays and stuff. And then uh, this is another one. These are all diff different variations. And then we got this one over here. This is one of my favorites too. <laughs> I really like them all. <laughs> okay, this one here. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now something else I make at Christmas time for baby showers. Um, something cute to hang on the tree. They make nice gifts to put on a package. It's a horse's head. I got this pattern years ago, over probably over 30 years ago in a crochet magazine or something. And here's his little bridle and his little bell. And then I got the eyes. I glued them on with E6000. That is one of the best glues out there. Um, once it's on, it's not coming off. And then what you do is you put a candy cane, which I don't have right now, but you put it up here like this, and his head kind of comes down like that with the candy cane. And then I made a USA horse's head. I haven't got the eyes on this one yet, obviously, or the other stuff made, but you can make them in any colors um, for the holidays, whatever, but they are just adorable, and the kids like them. The kids really like them, and they, they play with their horsey through the house like that. <laughs> I like to do it, too, you know, run around the house. Okay. Oh. Another good thing to make up that's quick and easy are pot holders. I love making these pot holders. I've given these away for years. I've made them out of all cotton. I've also made them in all acrylic. I know there's a big debate out there about that, but I've given these for years. The acrylic will not catch on fire unless you have it over an open flame or you lay the pot holder on your stove, which we're not going to do. So I take things out of the microwave, the oven. This is a great big one I made. And I just, again, use scrap yarn 
and there's YouTube videos out there on how to make the magic pot holder. Um, several um, sites have this, but they're fast, they're easy, and everybody, like I say, they love these. I don't have any crocheted washcloths to show you, show you yet. One of my favorite is the Tunisian washcloth. Oh, that'll be for another video, but it is... I mean, people ask me for these all the time. And this one here is a scallop by Priscilla Hewitt. Um, it has all these uh, front post stitch in it, and then the nice scallop edge, and it comes together so nicely. And I believe, yeah, see right here, you pull it apart, you make two of these, and then you come around with this, okay, I'm new at this, be patient, okay, the scalloped edge here, and it connects them both together, and then in the center, I secure it down with the thread so that it isn't all floppy inside. But yeah, I've got all kinds of these. Uh, this is another magic pot holder. Again, this one's done in the acrylic yarn. And they wash up and dry up beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. This one here I've used a lot. It's been through many washings. In fact, this one probably could go in the wash right now. Yeah, see right there. <laughs> that must have been my chicken. Okay, anyway, so isn't it pretty? I mean... And you can get different effects. Some people do, um, let's see right here. If you want to do like four rows here of a solid color and then come back on your corners, um, on your corners right here, put that off solid and then do a variegated or something, but you can do anything you want. Your imagination, go with it. And then this here, oh, mm, okay, these here. These are a pot holder. Um, Sarah, I gotta quit putting stuff in front of my face. Okay. Sarah Sack, um, again, uh, she taught us how to do this. It's two granny squares. Let me get close. Okay. It's two granny squares. Okay. And then I got a solid one, kind of a solid one on the back. This is all made with the same color yarn. It's just where you start at in the scheme that makes it different each time, which I really like. Okay, so see, here it is. And a bonus to this is, and maybe um, uh, you'll think this is funny, but at Christmas time, I gave a couple for gifts, right? And she opened it, and she opened up a drawer next to her kitchen and said, oh, I've got some different ones. And um, so we're looking at this, and I said, you know, i got to think of a way to... So it'd be safe to, you know, scrunch it. I guess you could go like like this. And my daughter grabbed it from me and she said, Mom, really? And what you can do is stick your hand in this little opening here, like this. Oh, all right. The little opening right here, like this. And then you can grab. And you've got two layers, okay? And um, it works out really well. You don't burn your hand. Um, very versatile in the kitchen. Um, sometimes I hang them on my wall just for decoration. And then this one here is my orange one. I love the color orange and autumn colors. Same design. Again, you're doing granny squares. And then it's a matter of how you turn your granny square. Like, okay, let me get closer here. Okay. Here's the granny square from here to here. But it's on the perpendicular. If you can look at this. There you go. And when you're doing it, it's how you connect it. That is a very clever way to do it. That makes it look like, you know, one of those patterns where you go, how'd you do that? Okay. So anyway, these are, you know, some of my favorites. Now, I got a couple things. I made this and my husband, Ron... He absolutely loved it. He thought I'd done a great job, and he said, oh, we got to keep that one. So, one of my first tries at Aragumi, I hope I pronounced that right, um, but um, it's a doll, and actually, Mary at Wild Crochet, I she done a video on how to do these baby loveys, and so I went ahead and followed her tutorial, and um, yeah, pretty neat came out pretty good so I'm gonna show it to you okay here she is 
We named her Suzette. Yeah, my name's Suzanne, so we had to name it Suzette. But here she is. Now here's, let me take her off of here so I can show you better. Goes all the way down. Put that over there. Okay, now, this is the blanket part of her skirt. And on the bottom, it's got these cute little peacocks or peacoats right there. I think you can see it right there. And yeah, here it is right here. All on each point is one of those. And then Mary showed us how to change, where to change the colors and how far down. And we did the head. And then I went ahead and put on those safety eyes. Now they do recommend when you make these, if it's going to small children, put just sew eyes on. And I figured out how to do the little note. Look at that. Isn't that the sweetest? Look at her profile. And then I did pink for lipstick on her mouth here. And uh, then this here is the hair. And what I did is I started here up at the top. And I just kept adding. Let me see if I can get this right. Okay. There we go. That's better. Actually, I started from the back. Okay. There we go. All right. Right here. Okay. I started in the back there we go I have the same problem with my hair okay right here is where I started and then as I went down I would just bring a group down and then I start the next row and you follow these lines right there very easy to do that this took me longer to do than probably the blanket but it was fun and I had a great time and I had this variegated yarn that made this pretty um, highlights in her hair and I do that to my hair sometimes. Of course, now, you know, I haven't been able to get out and get my color and stuff. But anyway, I, I like to have that kind of effect on my hair, too. And then I just gave her a little, I tried, I tried to give her a um, layered haircut look. Well, you know on Facebook when they say, don't do your own hair? There's a reason for that, okay? So, anyway, I think she's just adorable. And, um... I want to thank Mary at Wow Crochet. Um, she's a very delightful person. Um, she has a good following right now. She's been working very hard. She just went live, which is really nice. And um, so check out Mary at Wow Crochet. She has some really cute things. One more thing to show you, and then I'll let you go. Okay. This here, again, was at Mary at Wow Crochet. It's a granny square afghan. She takes you from making the square... All the way to the finish on the border so she shows you everything I mean how to wash it black it do everything you want to do to it and um, she also includes how to put the whole thing together I never know knew how to do that okay well I found this and there are several others out there too Mary's was really good about teaching she teaches you step by step make sure you understand it was very easy to do, and this is one that I'm working on. I already made one for my granddaughter, um, but this is a work in progress here. Let me get up and get it. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, hello. Okay, this here, as you can see, I got all these squares together. See if I can bring it closer for you. There we go. Like I say, I'm new to this, so please be patient with me. I'll get better. Okay, here we go. And what I did on this one, I just used all my scraps. And as I crocheted it, um, you do, theirs was eight squares across. Well, I did like ten. And um, you just do one row at a time across. And then she teaches you how to turn all those corners. And she teaches you how to do this lovely join right here. It's kind of stretched out because the way I'm holding it. But very neat joins. And, um... Okay, be help if I get you on the right side. Okay, here we go. See that little ridge right here? The way that you connect these squares, you have to pull up a loop. I'll never forget that phrase, Mary. Pull up a loop and go into this one. And um, so as I'm crocheting, I'm going, pull up a loop. My husband goes, what are you doing? So I said, oh, honey, leave me alone. I'm having fun. Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, like I say, I enjoy crocheting. 
There's so many good teachers out there on YouTube. Um, I will be naming some of them in the future. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and kind of give a little debut. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.